Let's see. Funk Flex. New York City. It's crazy. It's crazy outside. <laughs> 104 degrees. Literally. It's a scorcher. Oh, yeah, that's. We got the. I know you have fun sounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole world here. Hey, that's all section coming up. That's that sound. Mmm. This is the Inconsistent Podcast with Rob Hayes. I'm here with Janelle James. My love is here for you. Hey. Every day. You know why I'm playing this, right? No. Yeah, Essence uh <laughs> promo. <laughs> yes, you know, you get invited to Auntie Fest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the Supreme Auntie. Yeah. You gotta pay tribute. I feel like everybody likes doing that dance. Like the, the Mary dance. I mean it's fun. It's so sincere. It's got a hop and fun. And re- not as easy because you got to do it in knee boots. You got to do you it in the do- boots. I've never done it in the boots. Maybe right. that's for me. You're not it's doing way it more then. fun because, yeah, yeah, I've never put the boots on. You're not doing it the dance if, it, if the boots ain't on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, a, that's 90% of the dance. Yeah, I'm out here false marrying <laughs> <laughs> without the boots. But yes, shout out to Mary. No shout disrespect. out to Mary. No disrespect. <laughs> Back from Essence Fest. Yes. Two time Emmy nominated. Pew, 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 pew. VA myself. Shout out to New- No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Abbott University. <laughs> That's where I feel like I'm, I'm going next. Not yeah. Abbott Elementary, Abbott University. I've graduated. Two okay. time Emmys. Okay. Ava. Progressing. Mm-hmm. They really mm-hmm. like me, as that lady said, that made everybody hate her that time at the, at the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Sally Field. Was that Sally Field who said mm-hmm. that? They really like me. But they like people, me. They really like me. Yeah. Did people hate her after? No, you know who I'm thinking of? Anne Hathaway. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. She did a play on Sally Field, and maybe that was line stepping or something. Like, oh, you really? You don't do Sally Field quotes or whatever. <laughs> and, I know, I know. Ann Hathaway. There was a the whole thing when she her. when she hosted the Oscars because I feel like people was on her side when she won for Les Mis. And then she hosted the Oscars and I was like, all right, now. Oh, see, I didn't see her host. I just remember she did like a, a really sincere acceptance speech, and then after it was like a year of Ann Hathaway go away. And really? I'm like, I don't know what she did, but damn. Hey, if Ann she Hathaway got- is who she she says on Instagram, then. She's. I'm with Anne Hathaway I, I haven't all the been way. on the gram. For- <laughs> she, <laughs> she seems lovely. I don't know anything like, about her. Like some some real heartfelt captions during 2020. That's what I'm saying. I feel Turn like- the comments off. Y'all can't even come and oh, wow. speak the opposition. Okay. You know? So I was like, all right. I think that's what it was. People were like, oh, she's an actor. She wasn't being sincere. And then they didn't like, you know, people hate Joy. <laughs> 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 At the end of the day. But Sally Field, she won for the movie where she was in the union. And people keep posting that, like, like picture of her with the union sign and stuff. And that's that's what she won for. I think people were hating on her because she was a flying nun. And they was <laughs> like, you ain't about to just jump in movies. <laughs> You was the nun with superpowers on TV. Like, back in the day, like, like TV, oh, you, cross over. you had to be in TV. And if you was in movies, you had to be in movies. There was no Gilligan movies. Right. You just, hey, you got to stay where you at. Right. And so when uh, she was a flying nun, they were like, it's over for you. And she proved them wrong. Also a comedy, which, you know, mm-hmm. it was no respect. So yeah, can, yeah. Definitely couldn't switch from TV to movies, especially if you were, a, you know, in a comedic role. Right. You're like, you're not an actor. Yeah. 
thespian and such. Nobody's taking the flying nun seriously. There's no <laughs> dramatic portrayal of the nun that flies around and saves people and stuff. I mean, with all the remakes, maybe. Right. <laughs> maybe they will. Maybe they'll Bel Air the flying nun she one assa- time. She an assassin now. <laughs> <laughs> What's under the habit? She was an assassin, then she joined the convent, changed her life around, but she still got the One skills. One last mission. Mm-hmm. They keep dragging mm-hmm. her back in. That's hilarious. And her catchphrase is her catchphrase is right before she shoots, she says, "Say your prayers." <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Gabby. laughs> The Flying Nun hey. coming to a theater near you. Come on now, get the writers back in. You see what we coming up with. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Janelle, what's your favorite color sky? Favorite color sky. I like when they have the um the Armageddon sky every once in a while. It's like orangey and okay. people be freaking out. I think it's yeah. beautiful. I mean, is that a forest fire sky? I don't know. I've seen it out here. A lot. <laughs> The Armageddon. <laughs> you know when people be like, holy shit, look at mm-hmm, the sky. I'm mm-hmm. like, wow, look at the sky. Not like I'm afraid, look at the sky. But yeah, that's my favorite uh, sky. And then uh, after that, like the clear blue skies of the Caribbean. Clear blue skies of the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Along the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why, why do you ask, Rob? I I ask everybody what oh, really? their favorite sky is. Okay. Yeah. What what's been some uh, interesting answers? A lot of people like like peach and like purples and those kind of tones and then some people just really like the the clear blue sky. Mm-hmm. Now we got people Basic. on Discord, you know, they be taking pictures of the sky, putting them on Discord and stuff. I'm not with it, obviously, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. What? Multiple things you just said I don't understand. It's a, People it's taking a, pictures of the sky, Discord, putting it on Discord. I don't know what. Any okay, of those... Discord is like <laughs> it's like Reddit, but it's more specialized and picture based. It could be oh, whatever. It could be links. It could be pictures. So it's it Discord's just... just like yo, this so, the sky. Like, the podcast has its own Discord, mm-hmm. so it's like a little Reddit just for the podcast. But isn't doesn't Reddit do the same thing? Reddit would... does the same thing, but this is like, this is my page. I got the rules of my... Reddit isn't running it. Yeah, Reddit isn't running it. So that's the difference. So you're, I think... if you're on Discord, <laughs> you're running it, and if you're yeah. on Reddit, Reddit controls it. I think Reddit, it's all under a big thing. Banner. Yeah, and uh, I think, like, my Discord is, you know, just these people are involved. They might have conversations about other things, but they're all in the umbrella of Should the I have a Discord? Con- a if you Janelle want to, Discord? if you want to, you know, see what people are saying and, and keep uh, up I with it. I never want to see what people are saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, how does it feel? It must be crazy to just be, like, a gif. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, because people no, multiple <laughs> multiple gifts, right? Because people use your gifts for everything. for everything, and that's. I mean, at first I was freaking out, and then I, when I started getting more calm about it, what is wild now is when it's just like a, a thread about fish tacos, and it is my face. Like I'm like, oh, <laughs> I probably won't see myself here, like in this tax uh, this tax conversation and then it's me again so it's, it's not only that i'm popping up it's where i'm popping up i'm like mm-hmm. what does this have to do with anything and just yeah to, to be seeing myself sometimes i'm like it takes me a second like oh that's me like yeah breaks my brain a little bit but that's <laughs> but that's uh cool i guess but that's what people want <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to be seen and, and known but i think also what happens is since my face is everywhere even people who haven't seen the show are like yeah, They're like I know you. From I know somewhere, you. you know, and I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so okay, Twitter is is going through a lot right now. There's a lot of different things. I love it. There's threads. <laughs> there's Discord. There's Be Real. There's Blue Sky. There's Mastodon. Like some of these things, I don't even know how to. These start. are other apps. These are yeah. other apps. I'm I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> like if, once Twitter is done, I mean I'm barely on there. So I think then they just limit how much you can see now. Yeah, I think you got like a limit depending on your. Love it, excellent. I'll like, pay for that to keep that. 
<laughs> you want the lady. <laughs> like, please get me off of here. Like, oh, I already saw everything. I'm out of here. Like, that's it's been great. I think you get like 300 or 400 tweets if Excellent. you got a regular account. And then that's, if you verified, you get like a couple thousand. Losers. <laughs> 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 pain, to, pain to see thoughts. Anyway, but uh, are you verified? I'm not verified. Yeah, don't. You know, ain't out. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'll scroll and then I'm like, you see, you start seeing it repeat, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm done. And then I go about my life. That wasn't okay. happening before I was on there too too much. So yeah, uh, you used to be heavy on Facebook. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember Facebook. Uh, I was heavy on because that was a thing at the time, mm-hmm. and then also. People on my, I'm still on Facebook actually, <laughs> dating myself, but people who follow me on Facebook been following me this whole time. Yeah. And I feel like bad to like abandon them. Also, I don't want them to follow me to the other. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, don't come on Twitter with your. With, with, Y'all with, know me with, too well. You know me too well, or you think you know me too well. Right. And then just start talking to me all crazy. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, come, I pop up but over there to just still be like, hey, I'm still here. Don't come looking for me over here on, you know. I remember one time <laughs> one time in New York there was like a list of the best comedians or whatever. Yes. And then a lot of comics had this like fifty funniest people in Brooklyn, which yeah. is a, a hilarious <laughs> thing to, you know. And then there were a lot of comics that were like uh they had some, you know, reservations. Like a lot of comics were mad that they weren't on the list, Comedians and then other comics mad? were just like, what? "I'm gonna be humble." And you <laughs> were like, "Hashtag list life." Hey, I'm on the list. <laughs> I don't know what it feels like to not be on the list. <laughs> hey, oh, this is a great thing just happened to me. Hey. You know, uh, it must be the list. I don't know. <laughs> humble ain't never got nobody nothing. So I just thought it was so funny. That the cap, that the thing, it was a first of all, it was in a magazine. I think that had maybe one issue, right? Like it went out of business right after they did right. our list, and then mm-hmm. just how how furious comedians get over everything, especially lists that they yeah. aren't included on. So I was, it wasn't that I was so psyched about this list that I was, I was just fucking with people. It was like, just as funny I do, as I do. Yeah, no, it was funny. Like that's the thing. You, I feel like you're the same person online that i am online that you are you're the same person online you're the same person in person (laughs) you're the same person in interviews yeah like yesterday i I literally turned on the tv you were being interviewed by jennifer hudson and not acting any different for what (laughs) i don't know i get nervous i get nervous around people that like i shouldn't even be that nervous around. but you're still you're still yourself but nervous yeah you know, I'm, some That's people go true. into a whole other character. I'm like, I'm not getting paid for that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's a um, that's a blessing that comes with being a comedian. I, I guess I think I'm allowed to. to mm-hmm. some, maybe some people aren't allowed to, to be themselves or they don't feel like they have a personality maybe. But I yeah. don't know. I don't. That's that's exhausting to pre- remember who you're supposed to be at any given time. So I just try to be myself at all times. Cause you don't like it, don't 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 invite me. Right, <laughs> right. I'll stay in the house. You know, I ain't got no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> if there was anybody that I wanted to be like mic'd up during these awards, it would be you. <laughs> I just like almost there was a way immediately to... said something I was going to regret. <laughs> if there was so, like a way I could subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Inner thoughts. Just... <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah, this has been, um, you know, Rob, you know, this is all new for me. So Yeah, yeah. So that would have been great if I got to like narrate my first year uh, mm-hmm. doing awards and shit. I had never, uh, ever even paid attention to none of this shit. So, really? No. Like maybe, you know, when I when I was younger, I would tune in to see the dresses and stuff. Like mm-hmm, who wore mm-hmm. what or whatever, but I never nah. A whole chunk of time where I was just only focused on comedy shit. Yeah. If it was a comedy, who had JFL, then they weren't at JFL, then I was into it. But like Emmys and all I did I wasn't I had no idea and then I had no idea about the process, the preparation, the getting dressed, the campaigning, the interview, the red carpet. I had never done none of this shit before. So it oh, was wow. wow. My brain was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot all at once. So 
Yeah, no, I, I'm the opposite. Like, I was the comic that be in the bar like, hey, can y'all turn on the Golden Globes? Really? Like, it, it started. And y'all are I'd watch the... still watching football. Like, I don't know what's, <laughs> going, I don't know what's going on. Way to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> can y'all turn the game off? Like, like I'm trying to see this monologue. I understand That's the playoffs. That's why I would watch the monologue. <laughs> But as far as like the awards, I didn't. Yeah, I'd watch them all, especially if it's like if a, if a comic is hosting Chris mm-hmm. Chris Rock or somebody. Yeah, I'd mm-hmm. watch that. But nah, um, yeah, I just never paid attention to the to the process. Um, yeah, the and com- it is a process. It is a process. <laughs> it's a whole lot. Like yeah. I used to watch Fashion Police. Like like yes, uh, I used to watch that too. Because mm-hmm. Joan Rivers would be getting jokes up. Yes. Like Hilarious. she always went last and always Thank just God had she a gone. banger. I'd probably be fighting her and shit. Like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be clapping back at Joe. So, um, but yeah, she used to be. Mm-hmm. It kind of need that, right? Like, right. A little bit more. Not yeah. that people need to get dragged, but just some humor. Everything is so take it so seriously now, and mm-hmm. the people judging is. I'm just like, how dare you? <laughs> I think I think for a second they they got some people and they just thought oh anybody could do this anybody could just talk about people and it's like without that punchline without the like obviously I'm going hard and I'm telling a joke it it's just mean yeah. it just it's yeah, just mean just... or they lean into like over praise where it's just like all right mm-hmm. are you you just a fan out here like I don't know why I'm listening to this but yeah but that's why Joan Rivers is Joan Rivers. She that's why Joan kind. Rivers is Joan Rivers. Can't be replaced. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody played the air horn for Joan Rivers? That might be a first. I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's a first. <laughs> Janelle, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? <sighs> no, I'm taking this too seriously. Um, <laughs> I mean, I like panthers. Mm-hmm. My dad used to um like collect like panther figurines and art. That's very eighties. Okay, eighties uh, black man, panthers, <laughs> lion, lion. Uh, you know, tapestries with lions and shit, African mm-hmm. lions and stuff. But I always thought panthers were so cool. You never see them black yeah. as fuck. That's true. Black as fuck. You just see the eyes, sexy. I, I always like that. And then uh, if not that, like some kind of bird. What's the one that that can um. Uh, I was just reading about this bird that uh is it an albatross that can fly for miles without landing. Okay. So we um uh, we don't look anything up on this podcast. Oh, okay. So yeah, room. it's an we albatross. So it's just gonna be an albatross just, for now. Just take yeah, my word for it. Yeah. And um yeah, it can fly for I think like a day or some something without without landing. So that's amazing. Dang. <laughs> I wonder all the stuff they see if you fly for a whole day. How far you can get? I feel get. like they, cro- they cross oceans and shit. Mm-hmm, they were saying mm-hmm. so. Yeah, I don't know. And it, I, anyway, now I'm outing myself as a nerd, but uh, <laughs> it's not actually flying. It's like gliding. Mm. For, anyway, it's it's amazing. Who okay, what will, 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 will be your animal? My animal, uh, probably a sloth. You know, mm, just cool. kick just back chilling. in a tree, just chill. <laughs> you know. Other animals got. There's probably all kind of eagles and stuff that like I could get that sloth, but that's that's boring. I'm gonna just let them live. Is uh is that the sloth's predator? Eagles? I eagles don't know. Eagles. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I'm just throwing people together. I mean, what yeah. if it didn't have a predator? That would right. be cool. Right? Maybe they you just, just a, found a spot. You just a slow thing that's in a tree, just mm-hmm, chilling. Okay. Mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. right. That sounds not that great. But okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was a Somebody bird that could fly all day. I didn't Somebody. know. Well, if you're flying over the ocean, mm-hmm. you got to you gotta get out of that. Yeah. So it's probably like after a while it was like, well, I ain't going to stop gliding until I see land. And then it's like, all right, well, I, I made figured it. figured out I can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me go back, chirp, chirp at the homies. Let them know, hey, we can, we we can cross. Let's exactly. go to an island or something. Yeah. What's up? Word. Exactly. <laughs> Labor Day coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Janelle, where where'd you start comedy? Uh, I started comedy in Champaign, Illinois. Champaign, Illinois? Yes, at this uh, biker bar called Memphis on Main. I actually just saw on Facebook, another reason I, I stay on Facebook, that Memphis on Main 
closed down and it's oh, now no. like a social club for old people or something. But um, oh. yeah, that's where I started. And my home club was uh, the Jukebox in Peoria, Illinois, home of uh, Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, um, I've been to Peoria a couple of times, did some schools out there. Mm-hmm. They had one. Uh, <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Desolate? Desolate. <laughs> I didn't even know they had a comedy club. I didn't even know yeah, about man. the jukebox. Next to the strip club, across the street from the dirt racetrack. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I would. it would just be straight from the school to the Applebee's to the Hampton Inn. Like, yeah, I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't know about none of this stuff. Uh, it sounded but- like the outro to an R.B. song. <laughs> With a party at the Hampton Inn, the Applebee's, straight to the. <laughs> they never sing about Applebee's. That's what we need. We need a good, like, Chili's, Applebee's, Cheesecake Factory. I mean, you just did it right there. Mm-hmm. All those rhyme. I never think about Applebee's. Yeah. You ever but- been to West Nyack? I've been to West Nyack. That's where mm-hmm. I just came from, and they had Applebee's out there, and all the all the things that you thought had closed down a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Noah went there, and Noah went to uh, Chipotle and got a burrito bowl, but then got the the wrap on the side, and he was like, "Yo, they always give you too much for the wrap," and then folded his own burrito. <laughs> That's a real pie move. <laughs> That's how you discover shit like that, being high. Peoria had that one bust of uh, Richard Pryor, mm-hmm. and then some people saw it. She looked like Gargamel. And they were like, we got to do better. And yeah. now they got a really nice statue of Richard Pryor Yeah, there. and I got a picture in front of the old one that don't, don't look like him. <laughs> everybody like, who that? <laughs> is that Lamont Sanford? No, this is, this is Richard Pryor. This is his hometown. Yeah, hey, here's the second picture of the plaque <laughs> that says his name on it to prove it. Yeah, that shit was awful. It must have been for free or something, some kind of volunteer sculpture. I posted it on Vine because I was out there when Vine was going on, and all the comments was like, "Who is that? <laughs> exactly? Are you related to that man? No, this, this is Richard Pryor. Yeah, but apparently the <laughs> um, the strip club that he uh, used to hang out at is the same one that's still there. Richard, apparently he. Uh, that's too long. Yeah. <laughs> that's too, did they even have poles back in the sixties? Like, I feel like it was uh, probably wood. <laughs> <laughs> Just stakes a of wood. wood pole. <laughs> <laughs> this pole has corners. This is a little Instead different. Instead of wiping it off, you come in and give it a fresh sanding <laughs> before it's your turn. You got sand all the fucking uh, splinters down. Like, all right, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle. <laughs> Clea just snorted a, a, a comedy <laughs> achievement. The snort. I love a snort. Yeah. If comedy is a video game, you hear a snort, you get like plus 50 Man, in the corner. A snort, a, a, a knee slap. You ever a, got knee a knee slap, slap in real life. A real Woo! life knee slap is great. Yeah. I feel like a motherfucking G when that shit happens. Mm-hmm, it's so rare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I remember the first time I happened, I was like, oh, man. I feel like that only happened in, like, cartoons or something. Like, that, that people actually, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a great feeling. <laughs> you ever have somebody, like, clap while they're laughing? Yep. <laughs> clap usually with the those thrown back head, yeah. mouth to the ceiling. I see all that shit, all the different laughs. I love it. Yeah. Oh, my God. You ever yes, get one of those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they're shocked that they laughing. That's usually after some shit they didn't think they would laugh at. They were like, oh, wait, I thought I was inf- offended inside, and, and yet. Yet. The laughter is, oh. <laughs> Janelle, you got an album called Black and Mild. Do you ever smoke Black and Milds? No, but I did kind of when I was a teenager of acting, you know, like I knew how to smoke, hanging, mm-hmm. out, hanging out with older people and uh, older Same. people. But, you know, like 20-year-olds when I was a teenager. Right, and like, right. Yeah, yeah, pass it to me. And then fucking choking my lungs out. But, yeah, so but not truly. But I just always, um, it just, I, you know, it was a play on on that. The fact sure. that I smoke weed a lot. And uh, also um, <laughs> me, black, I, black, being black. And, and back then, it, when that album, even more mild, I was very low-key. Yeah. Then I've kind of perked up more in my act now, but back then, you know, I I barely moved from the microphone, mm-hmm. so I just thought it was a cool name. 
I guess, yeah, I guess you didn't like move around a I lot. Did not. Yeah. Because I started with Ty Berry. Okay. <laughs> he was like one of the first people that I went on the road with, and I used to watch him, and he barely moved. Very oh, monotone. Oh, yeah. And I, I guess you would want like, somebody to open to get people used to. I just didn't have my own style yet. Like okay. I had my own jokes, but I didn't know how to and uh, how to be on stage. And so I was mimicking him a lot, like just standing and not doing act outs. That and, sounds wild. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what that I was doing, Todd Barry? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I was also very depressed. It, it very much went with my energy level at the time. Right. So <laughs> I was like, okay, not much output required for this act. So that's what I was doing. Yeah. But now, now I do act outs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe two or three. Okay. In an hour. Okay. Yeah. But that's fun. Like, like you do a couple and then people are really surprised. Exactly. And like, like oh, she's exactly. moving. Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> Todd also showed me like voice modulation. So he, I would, I would be thinking like, oh, he's always monotone. But he had a couple of times where he would scream and, mm-hmm. and that would hit you like, oh shit, you know, like a yeah. surprise laugh or whatever. So all those things I watched, I learned like watching him. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's incredible with his voice. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, that's that's so dope. What yeah. a yeah, what a dope person to uh yep. to learn from and yep. stuff. Are you getting back on the road? I am going to uh where am I going? <laughs> Washington State. What's up there? To, to, Topeka? No. Uh fuck. Toscana? Something with a T. Okay. This weekend, I uh, just came from West Nyack. Last weekend, doing I'm doing all the not big cities so I could get my hour together. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they get to practice in the booties. With, with, I'm going where people just happy to, that you came. People first. love that though. People love the process. You know, they love saying, "Hey, they know I what's saw happening. that." When, yeah, that's true. That's true. A lot of people I get now are coming to see Ava. Mm-hmm. Coming to see my character, they don't really know stand up or how it works, and they're just like, "Why are you talking like that?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, some people love it. Yeah. If you go to see Janelle, you're not going to see Ava. You're not. You're going to see Janelle. Yeah. Janelle plays Ava. You might hear some of the things, you know, that you you hear from Ava. I mean, but I, I still have the same face and voice. Same face and voice. I know that's weird for some but people. But a whole person that, you know... You might not know everything about exactly so, but that's what's been fun about it. Like trying, you like, oh, okay, if you're a fan of, of this character, to try to get, make them a fan of me mm-hmm. as well. I know I ain't gonna get everybody, but you ain't gonna get everybody. Period in stand up, you, yeah. You're looking for your people, so it's been cool to see people like, oh, I love the show and I love you. So that's been cool. That's fine. <laughs> Janelle, where'd you grow up? I grew up. Uh, adolescence in the Virgin Islands and then uh, um, New York. Okay. For my youth. Yeah. Well, what was, like, what was that transition like? Oh, man. Came up here with no winter clothes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about most, like, when you say, like, transition. Yeah. We, came, we moved up here in the winter, and I remember I had, I mean, broke as fuck, and I had a, a winter coat, but I still had, like, summer clothes. So, like, shorts. Okay. And, and, winter, and a winter coat. And uh, still had a heavy accent. That's before island people were cool. And uh, <laughs> before Sean Paul and shit yeah. came out. So, yeah. That was... Were there, like, a lot of closeted uh, um, foreign <laughs> people, people? Like, like, trying to, like, pass as, like... I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> I never, I never. Like, I, I um, always was, like, proud of my shit. And I always, like felt bad for people that would make fun of me because most of them I'm from the Virgin Islands and so I would be like y'all don't even know where it is <laughs> yeah that's not a slight on me that's on you they'd mm-hmm. be like oh you from Africa and I'm like that has nothing to do with who you know yeah. so I never like felt bad about where I'm from or, or try to hide it or whatever I just felt pity that whatever educational system that was happening <laughs> that people didn't know hey not only this is the Virgin Islands where it is it's also part of the United States <laughs> like people mm-hmm. just did not know so that always struck me uh, as hilarious and sad. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I um, I had a heavy accent, but um, in St. Thomas, like, you know, we had gotten, we had cable, we had music videos and shit, so I could switch if I want. I could talk like Madonna probably at that time. <laughs> 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 That's what I used to watch most. Yeah. But, yeah, it wasn't um, a big deal to me. And then 
those people like Sean Paul and uh, who else came out? Oh, let me think. Shabba Ranks. Shabba Ranks. Came and oh, I was the most popular person. <laughs> I was like, oh, what he's actually saying. <laughs> <laughs> I became like the Caribbean translator. <laughs> And then that was cool. But, you know, kids always make fun of shit they don't know. They and make fun of is. everything. Of everything, especially yeah. if they don't know it. Yeah, but know? if they don't know something, then and it's And if it's like... only one of it and they could gang up on that mm-hmm, one thing, then, mm-hmm. then it is what it is. But i always been a G, so it ain't, ain't phase me. <laughs> <laughs> so many fights. Anyway. Fights? Oh, please. I used to fight yeah. all the time. Man, I've been jumped so many times. and, and Really? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, and I mean that's that's broke tales. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody grew up in poverty that ain't never been jumped. Hey, it's a shabba ting, suckling sing, ting a ling a ling, <laughs> ting ting a ling a ling, scoop. I don't remember it no more. <laughs> School bell a ring. <laughs> I just saw a thing today, and it was, um, I think, Crazy Bone explaining what he said on uh, Crossroads. Mm-hmm. And, man, I it's had not no, what you thought. I had no <laughs> clue. I was not even close. What did he say? He was like, first of all, there's an N-word in there that got on the radio. Oh, wow. Because it's like, yeah, it just <laughs> it's slipped. so fast. It's, yeah. That's wild, because I remember thinking i knew that song like saying that shit with my friend but we probably wasn't one everybody ma- was making noise making it up <laughs> yeah because the comments was there was one comment i saw and it was like yeah that's what you think you said step aside <laughs> and it was like you said boop boop bop <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna miss everybody ah <laughs> uh, bump was like <laughs> revolutionary when they came out man. Mm-hmm. people was like what is this yeah <laughs> and it true literally what is this nobody knew <laughs> right there was another comment that was like you, if you're from cleveland you know exactly what he said i was like i nah, guess that's how people whatever. talk in cleveland maybe i don't know i'm going there soon <laughs> yeah cleveland ohio i will i will investigate if it's gibberish coming out of everybody <laughs> <laughs> you know who has uh wild accents new orleans oh yeah I tried to date a Baby. guy down there, and that's the first time I've ever like let somebody go because I couldn't. I I was like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Truly? Oh man! Like we met, and then I was like, you mad fine? Let me try. But I was just going like, yeah, what word? Then I was just kind of, <laughs> and then he was still there, and I uh, went back to New York, and we were trying to talk on the phone and shit, and I was just like, I can't do this. I have a headache. Like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's it's a it's a definitely a thick accent, and then there's a lot of terms and yeah, stuff that I, are I truly just used didn't. differently. My mom's uh, she refers to him as her little friend. He's uh, he's from New Orleans, mm. like you know her when you get when you, when you get okay, a certain <laughs> when you get a certain age, you just not boyfriend and girlfriend yes, anymore. Yes, right, but, it's, it feels yeah. weird. I guess yeah. little friend is like. <laughs> We got to come up with something. Better. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be on Facebook like, I wish my friend happy birthday. It's like, well, we, uh, we know. The jig is up. We know what's going on. But he's from New Orleans, and, like, he'll always he'll always have a different thing he calls me and my sister. And it's just like, all right, I don't know if this is, like, a saying or a nickname. Like, I don't know if it's just a him thing mm. or, like, yeah, and then like sometimes he'll slip, he'll say, he'll call me baby, cause like you know, yeah, hey, baby. baby. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, okay. one more baby, we gotta go outside. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, just down at Essence Fest, like our drivers, <laughs> they were talking to us, and I'm like, sir, like I, I'm so sorry, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at your lips all hard. I don't know what you're saying, man. What a superpower, though. Your own yeah. little language. <laughs> We need we need like a more you know I feel like the more you listen though the more you'll get it I tried. you know <laughs> I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe I just know the the people that like I've listened to and maybe or they juvenile. Are, maybe they like juvenile <laughs> and the boosy and the mm-hmm. like you know uh, the Lil Wayne's of the world are the are the clearest. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's like regional too. Yeah. Like, where are you from in New Orleans? Or, but I ain't. Mm-mm. 
those people that you said I do boosy sometimes too. I'm like, you gotta run that back, but um <laughs> yeah, Lil Wayne, I can understand. I mean Lil Wayne a dragon, so Yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. Talking, it's know. more of the smoke that's in the way with yeah, Lil Wayne. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I like I elementary. <laughs> I, I watched oh my Black God. Monday. If uh, Lil Wayne Big said fan. he liked Abel Elementary, yeah, I would die. What it do, boo? <laughs> I, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> I would die. I love him. But anyway, um, yeah, so. Regional dialects. With Regional. Rob and Janelle. Dialects. <laughs> <laughs> so what What do people say in the Virgin Islands? What did, What is y'all, like, you know, like, do y'all have any things like that did y'all say that no one else says um yeah i mean we have our own slang let me think lord i'm on the it's hard for me to, like even just that i feel like my brain just moved you know like, you feel I your think... brain working um <laughs> <laughs> you did give me a side eye and i was like i i i don't know i'm completely yeah, ignorant it's like if I i'm talking to somebody <laughs> if i talk it to somebody with accent it's easy for me to switch over but if you're answering me the same way it's, i have to really think about it so i can't really think oh, right now wow. what a slang is or whatever we would have to be having a conversation so mm, there we go. dang <laughs> I, I never heard I'm you slip man. into it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do you, when your thoughts, are they how like... <laughs> what, what, am I thoughts in an accent? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I never thought about that. <laughs> hmm. I guess it depends what I'm thinking about. Okay. Yeah. So when you think about the Virgin Islands, the thoughts might switch over Maybe, to... Maybe, yeah. If I'm thinking about <laughs> something that happened there or if I'm thinking about, about talking to somebody that... Yeah, I don't know. Shit, now I'm going to be really focused on that <laughs> shit. <laughs> what am, you know, some people don't have thoughts. I just read that, too. Some people what? don't have, like, inside voices. It's, like, all silence. They don't have, like, uh, conversations with themselves. Uh. Or, or and they aren't able to picture things. You know, how you can, like, I'm thinking about an apple. And you can mm-hmm. see it. Some people don't have that shit. It made me so calm. I was like, oh, these are people I don't fuck with. Like, and I can't <laughs> figure out. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you're like, there's a communication yeah. stalemate happening. Mm-hmm. This nigga, they, ain't, they not thinking they not, about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I definitely have that. You ever try to give someone directions and you're and like, they just can. yo, they're not, they do not even nah. thinking about. Exactly. So yeah. now you know, it gives you some Some peace. people don't that, have thoughts. That and uh, I've read that some people can't like uh, compute jokes. Like they can't, they don't know why things are funny. And so that's what I tell myself okay. when I am when okay. Like, oh, you one of those. These people leave comments. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if the thought people leave comments. Exactly. They might be like, heart button, cool. Yeah. Perfect. But that I don't get jokes, people. The, I don't get like, jokes, people. They, they can't wait you, to comment. I don't get it. Yeah. I, yeah. They can't <laughs> wait like, to. You have a neurological. <laughs> right. That's so funny. I, yeah, I gotta find so out much what peace. that condition. So is much peace called. when I found that out. Like, oh, okay. Don't no more. Have thoughts. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I my inner voice messes with me mm. nonstop. My inner voice is always like pulling hijinks. Mm. Like when I'm hosting a show, like say I'm bringing up somebody named John, my inner voice is like, or maybe it's Joe, or maybe it's Jim, or maybe it's. Jimmy, or maybe it's like, yo, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I just read it, you know? Like, like my inner voice is always a prankster. You sound like anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? I is that so. what anxiety you, you is? You panicking over something you just read. I, it's not panicking, though. It's mm-hmm. my inner voice is like Your inner voice panicking. fooling around. Mm. It's not even like like... I'm not asking it. My inner voice is like messing with me. Like, oh, it'd be crazy if you failed. Like, you know? wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Inside Rob's Head, <laughs> where he talks about his special friend. <laughs> no, that's not how my inner voice is, but hey. That, you know, we all have different lived experiences. <laughs> it's not It's not all the time. It's not constant. Every now and then. I mean, ch- hey, sure. <laughs> My inner voice is funny, though. It's, you know. That's funny, cool. A funny if it's talking to you all the time, it better be. <laughs> at least humor- humorous. <laughs> <laughs> 
Janelle, I don't mean to put your business out there oh, in the boy. streets, but uh, you know, I don't like that. You do have a telescope. Rob, <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to tell nobody. <laughs> I do have a telescope, but I know why you brought this up. <laughs> Wait. It's a child's telescope. No, no, I wasn't even going to do that. Oh, I, was, I was going to flex well, with already... you one time. See, oh. you, you too I honest. Flex. I, 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 tr- I, I was going to have people That's believe in my problem you in had this business. A, <laughs> a Hubble Jr. at the crib. Nah. I wouldn't even go. <laughs> nah, it's a Bumble Jr. It's a... <laughs> And I ordered it. <laughs> I thought that was a, a, a reasonable price for a telescope. Apparently, mm-hmm. the good ones are like super, super expensive or whatever. I was like, okay, yeah. couple hundred this price of shit. It's a child's telescope, and um, as you remember, it only elevates to a certain height. And so I had a whole party of people stooping down <laughs> to look through this stuff. <laughs> Like hurting your back? So. I, we, no, I mean it was fine. We squinted. We saw some. We saw Jupiter. Or something. Uh, we definitely saw something. I need to upgrade because I do. I do. That's my tel- that's not what I'm. I don't coming see no here stars. All I see is neighbors and shit. <laughs> I can, I but can. see, I think that's what most people. The telescope, the stars, is a front. Nah, there's was, a lot of people that like get the telescope to be nosy, to, to be nosy, <laughs> and they just gotta know a little bit about stars. I don't look at nobody's house, but every once in a while, we cut some commotion down in the street. I'll, I'll pull out, <laughs> like, hey, let me see what's going on. <laughs> this was that a car accident? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do that, but yes, I need a, I need a. Thanks for reminding me. No, I no, I, I, that I wasn't, I wasn't trying to I do that known at all. Better. You ain't at me. But yes, <laughs> my telescope is not up to par for myself. <laughs> Maybe some other people would be like, "This is a nice telescope," but I right. wasn't. That's not. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm trying to uh, be at the like observatory in my house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Janelle, do you believe in other universes? I mean, they. Ex- I thought it was a given that they exist. Oh, you're you're saying, do I believe what people are telling us about yeah. the universe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You. I believe in other universes yeah. for sure. Sure, I mean, can, am I wrong in that we can see them? Can we see them through our telescope, like other? I mean, I guess we could see. Let's 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 let's. What, what's a universe again? <laughs> what's it? Okay, you're looking in the sky. We're in okay. our universe that right. has our what like our planet, the Jupiter's mm-hmm. and we got, Pluto and all that. We're in the. I think the galaxy exists oh, galaxy. in the universe. I know we could see other galaxies. Mm-hmm. I don't really know if we can see other universes, but I don't know where our we're universe stops. We're in a galaxy stops. in a universe, and you're asking me, are there other universes beyond that that also contain galaxies? This yes. is my shit. That's why yes. I'm so serious right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Has it been said that there are, are other universes? I think it's believed. I think space is so vast. Like I, you know, I never and constantly heard, expanding. I, yeah, I never heard of like, all right, well, this is where this our is universe it. ends, and right. this is where another one begins. Right. But I don't, I don't know. know. I'm gonna have to go. With, I don't know to that question because, uh, shit, I don't know. Well, I guess I mean it more in the context of: Do you think there's like another Janelle and another Rob somewhere else? Well, that's a totally different question. Right? <laughs> but I guess, um, well, like an uh, uh, alternate universe. Be. Right. You talking about the metaverse now? That shit was confusing. I just saw Spider Man. I don't get it. <laughs> but it's a lot of Spider Mans out here. I I tell my son like, look, I'll see you at the bar. It had a bar in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the okay. Movie. I said, meet me at the bar because I don't know what's happening right now. Too many, too many metaverse. I went to the dine in, and I saw they had cognac on the menu, and then I got like uh, some Hennessy, and then went to sleep on the Spider Verse. <laughs> And then I had to go see it again mm-hmm. just to figure out what happened. And did you? I did. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand what's happening. Um, it was like a Spider Man taxi cab. Oh, it was like not even. Yeah. No thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was, I was a like, lot. I thought he was black. That's all I went for. Right. Like, and it was a black right. Spider Man. I don't know what all this other shit. They can't let us stand on our own. Bro. Nah, this is what it is. They said the world with a black. Let's have a Spider-Man. Lego one too, mm-hmm. just to, for the Lego people, so they don't feel left out. But anyway. Um, <laughs> A black kid made that scene, though. I did see. Mm-hmm. I did see that. Yeah. Sure. 14 years old. Anyway, uh, universe, another Janelle and another Rob. No, I don't think that. I do think, um, I think the current theory is that our, uni- our 
planet is so special that it's made us in this particular way. And then other planets might have life, but it would be a totally different thing based on what they got going on as Mm -hmm. far as oxygen and and, and molecules and shit, right? Yeah. This is scientific facts. (laughs) (laughs) So, no, I don't. Now, do you believe in other dimensions? I think that's what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, I believe in other dimensions. So, like, it would be, like, right here, like, and we just can't see it. And then oh it's yeah, another, another Janelle and Rob over here having some other podcast about serial or some shit. Okay, you believe in that? I believe in that. Why? Why do you believe in that? I think when we come up with a possibility, it's, who's to say is. that it's mm-hmm. not? Mm-hmm. It doesn't exist. So you know, on this podcast, we we describe a lot of universes, mm-hmm. a lot of dimensions, if you will. Mm-hmm. I feel like. If they didn't already exist, then who's to say that they don't yeah, exist? Yeah, I feel like I feel like that, especially when I have like deja vu or something, or you right. feel like, oh, I've been here before, or oh, I did this already, and it's like, oh, the other dimension is crossed over to my shit and mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know, mm-hmm. but that'd be cool. I, I would I would hate to think this is all there is. Yeah, so I think that's why we believe in other stuff because you're like, this can't all be it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that that would be whack if this whack. was if this was the only one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look what we're doing with the only exactly. universe. That was, like, it's too yeah, sad. So I'm like over there, sad. they chilling. Yeah, Shangri La over there. Yeah. I they just I'm, I'm just in the wrong one right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, somewhere else they, they figured, figured it, it out. out. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite cereal? Hmm. I haven't eaten cereal in years. Uh, you, you, you get to an age where you're like, you know what? This ain't really doing nothing for me. Stop lying to yourself. No matter how much grams of fiber is on the right. front. <laughs> like, I'm not full. I remember being happy. <laughs> I remember getting the bowl and being like, this is yeah. the best thing. And now, like, I see the cereal. I remember the feeling. But I know if no. I make that Problems. soggy, it's not going to make yes. me happy. Also, I think my cereal departure started with milk. Once I well, okay. once milk was like gross to me, I was like, well, I ain't doing cereal no more. But yeah. I mean, I love I love sugar. You see, I'm eating the immediately came in <laughs> and, and grabbed the fucking snacks. So mm-hmm. I've I've gone through all the sugar cereals. Okay, uh, Lucky Charms being one. Lucky Charms, that I really liked mm-hmm. uh, Golden Grams. Okay, sweet than a motherfucker. That shit blow your head off. Um, <laughs> it's so sweet. I can't believe I used to eat that shit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody go through their Captain Crunch era. Fuck your mouth up. Um, mm-hmm. that's for the real G's. Uh, what, what's your what's your favorite? Um, I I was in the Golden Graham CTC yes. so Cinnamon sweet. Toast Crunch. So sweet. Uh, sometimes I would cut the Cinnamon Toast Crunch with Golden Graham. <laughs> <laughs> They pair well together. They yeah. used to pair well together. That's um, that shit. After you finish the cereal, your milk, you just freeze that shit. It's ice cream. That's mm-hmm, how sweet it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Not that I've done that. I've seen <laughs> at the store, they got cinnamon toast infused marshmallows. And I'm like, who is this for? That also marks my departure. It's too much. Right. Too new stuff, too many mixing, too many metaverses in the fucking cereal. I uh, didn't know category. y'all had that much dust. <laughs> now they sell the dust. You could just buy a cinnamon toast crunch dust. I can't even imagine the life of someone who <laughs> would purchase such a thing. What does your house look like, man? Get it together. <laughs> That's that big uh, mixing bowl cereal ass niggas to do that shit. <laughs> You could buy the dust. Well, you could cook with it. You could make like other pastries and stuff with, <laughs> with the dust, <laughs> with the dust, and then put the put the. Oh my bad, I was mistaken, toast. Rob. I didn't know about that. Uh, <laughs> the plus of the dust, like you could make actual French toast and then put this put the cinnamon dust on toast it. dust on there. Yes. <laughs> now, I guess I'm bougie now. Make a, a latte, lot of shit I used to eat. sprinkle it on a latte. That's the main. Uh, and this isn't even like a lot of money. I think that's the main uh, switch up when you start making money. It's like okay. your food taste when you start eating like real food and then you try to like backslide into yeah. dust. You're like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? Like, I can't even yeah. process. I can't. It's so gross. And I'm just like, damn, I can't believe I used to kill this shit. Right. Right. <laughs> so, no, I don't have yeah. a friend. <laughs> I don't have a friend. 
<laughs> Maybe that's no my more. problem. Cause you I, don't have enough I won't, money. I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. No, that 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 could be a problem. But no, I feel like I won't let certain things go. I'm like, yo, if I stop eating Taco Bell, I'm not gonna like it anymore. I just need to. That's just... okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just accept that. You know, you on the board, you, you dating, you dating the CEO. Talk about you, no. what, you, what, what do you owe them? I don't owe them anything, but you know, that, that was a big part of my fourth meal was a big part of my uh, identity back in the day. You know, it was like What's that the after midnight joint. Yeah. Like Taco Bell. Oakland fourth Lake. dinner. Yeah. Taco Bell. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, That's... unless they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Then I love it. <laughs> the Janelle James tour is sponsored by Taco Bell. Hey, if y'all want to eat it, that's the that's the slogan. <laughs> <laughs> I put together my own combo. I ain't tried it, but if y'all want to eat it, Taco Bell. I do like the celebrities. I get, I get every celebrity combo. You get Cardi comes out. I got Cardi and offsets, mm-hmm. uh, and Sweeties. that was for two. And wow! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Queen wanted no part. She's like, I don't eat that. Meanwhile, so you had to eat it for two. Meanwhile, uh, no, I'm I had to eat the Cardi and the offset. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So, but you put Quinn in there. Did you buy it? Like, hey, it's for two, and I got. Or, I you, knew she, you knew you were gonna. She, <laughs> she never ate McDonald's in my true, presence. True. Yeah, in five like, years. Oh man, now I got to eat both sides. Damn, <laughs> you don't support me. <laughs> I wasn't. It, you know, I. The thing is, the celebrity meals. It makes me wonder, like question what what they were thinking what the thought process was i do like i think i like the the uh cardi portion more than the offset portion but i really don't know <laughs> who's, who's who would say no i'm not <laughs> nah, fucks the offset too but yeah I, I, you know uh the sweetie meal that was a little that was a little nasty yeah, I don't really like the thing, ranch right? with the yeah i don't believe she be eating that shit she too pretty i'm like you don't be eating that <laughs> And still look like that. You don't yeah. got no zits or nothing. You just eating barbecue <laughs> on top of fish sandwiches. Mm-hmm. And, nah, I don't believe it. She got a. She had a, a ranch uh, collab with with Crocs. Like she, yeah, she's pushing this. <laughs> the Travis Scott meal was okay. He liked barbecue sauce on the burger nice. and like with the fries and mm-hmm. stuff. And mm-hmm. it's like, all right. That makes Normally sense. Normally, you got to pay more for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. So, I, yeah, I did I did like that. The uh, the Nelly Whopper. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly doesn't like pickles, I guess. Yeah, they took the pickles off, and they were like, this, this, this is a the Nelly, new combo? Nelly Whopper Jr. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> When I'm when when do I get famous enough for one of those? It's coming. It's coming. I'll be like, I only like Our 20 piece fries. might come to you and be like, yo, we got the meats, which one? I actually I turned down a um who was it? Sonic. Okay. I could have been a Sonic drink broad. Okay. But uh that would have been my first thing. I was like, I don't come out with, with a drink as my first thing that I'm selling to the people. You it know? would be dope to be in the car. <laughs> In the Sonic car, like you know the the like they normally have like really good improvers and stuff in it. Wait, the, what you talking about? <laughs> the Sonic commercials. It's oh, like see, two I'll... dudes in the in the car, like like the uh, in the improv world. They'd be like, "Yo, th- these these the oh, guys." Squirt. Yeah. So here's the thing, Rob. I don't know. Last time I saw a commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I don't even got that kind that's, of TV. That's, that's how celebrity works. Man. That's we crazy. We just selling stuff we ain't never seen. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I'm like, what are they doing in there? I don't know. I, I just saw it was a drink or something. I mean, not that it was. I was down on Sonic. At the end of the day, it wasn't enough money. But um, yeah, I got you. So they coming, but it, it, it's not of the level of the Cardi B meal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with an Air One. Air One, uh. <laughs> Air One don't bougie. have commercials. That's People saying, don't even know to. about Air One. The Air One combo, by <laughs> Somebody brought up Air One on the Drink Champs. They were like, "Excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say?" Well, as you know, we share a mutual friend who loves Air One, and now I'm into it. 
<laughs> now I'm into it. I'm disgusted every time I go in there and spend so much money. But <laughs> yeah, there I've seen some some TikToks about it. I haven't been. I still haven't been. I still haven't been. <sighs> you, I, it's. I want to take my mom so much just to see her disgust and like bewilderment <laughs> and like five dollars for an apple. Like she would <laughs> lose her mind. Like that's who I want to go with. But, yeah. Yeah, that is, might be fun. Maybe, yeah. Is uh, who had the joke that was uh, certain? Is it probably about Whole Foods at that time where it's like it's priced to keep people out? Like, oh, you just you it you can't afford it. Like, right, just like right. If you can't afford it, just don't come. Type thing. That's mm-hmm. definitely uh, Erwan. And I question whether I can afford it sometimes. <laughs> I'm, in there, I'm like, what the hell am I doing in here? But <sighs> I hear LA, about the prices, and I'm like, man, that it's wild. It sounds crazy. It's yeah. wild. So I've I've snuck on to a an account and okay. I just uh, <laughs> <laughs> I pay for it with somebody else's money. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stella G. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's so expensive that it's got to taste good. It's like yo, this, yo, I mean, it costs so much. Yo, mm, here's what mm, Erwan mm. means to me. <laughs> Erewhon, to me, it's not even that it's so good. It's that food has gotten so disgusting, right? That right. a place that's just selling basics that's not, you know, tortured or yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, this this chicken had a great life. Like you could taste it in it. Like you, you know, uh, and that's what you're paying for. Like the the removal of all the other shit that gotcha, is, gotcha. is in regular grocery store food which is awful because it's like that should be available everywhere yeah, it should be available and these everywhere. motherfuckers is like charging a premium mm. to not eat cancer so that's and I'm I'm of the of the of the age now where I'm eating to live which is a sad place to be <laughs> it's not like it's some enjoyment but like I said I, I don't eat cereal and all that shit anymore cause yeah. now I'm like oh this this shit will be hurting me now <laughs> so <Gotcha. that's, laughs> So that's how you spend your, they don't your, sell your life dust savings on a fucking one. fish plate. Anyway, they, they don't sell dust. I mean, it, it'd be organic me, where's dust. Where's the dust? It'd be like security, <laughs> security. We got we got a dust head in here. Get him out. <laughs> this dust come from the fields of Palm Springs, <laughs> where it's harvested by. <laughs> uh. So now, anything you want to tell the people? Anything you want to promote? I know. I mean, you yeah, got you dates, know, to travel in the country. I have dates. I mean, one of the best things about being a stand-up, especially at this time, is that we still have that right. two strikes going on. Um, I was going anyway, but yeah, now even more. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be on the road doing a new hour. Uh, my tour is called Newly Famous. It's mostly about that, about my uh, experience with being newly famous and um yeah still like stand up still killing it uh really selling out weekends for the first time in my come career on. that's been amazing and um yeah come through it's it's wild what my new uh audience is cuz everybody watches uh sitcoms yeah you know and so people who would have never come across me are at my shows now and they got Bibles in their purses and shit. And, uh, <laughs> and then they come and get surprised. So uh, <laughs> that'd be n- nothing against Bible, but you know, uh, it uh, it um is is cool to turn them into gen animals. That's my uh <laughs> Okay. Gen that's animals. My, that's my fat club. Gen Dope. animals. And uh look out for me in the streets because once the social media shit's shut down, I ain't going nowhere else. That's where you're gonna have to catch me. Okay. <laughs> like if it's, okay. it's not one of these four that I'm already on. It, it, <laughs> I, I can't figure it out. It's too much. Yeah. I am going to Google Discord when I leave here, I guess. But All right. uh, it, it's too much. That's been the Inconsistent Podcast with fun. Rob Hayes. Yeah. <laughs>